Hello guys, in this video, let's flash Sinogen Mod 12 on the MI3. And luckily, Sinogen Mod 12 doesn't have random reboots like Ivan's Lollipop has. So let's get into it. For this, you'll need to have CWM Recovery installed. If you do not have CWM Recovery installed, then check the description for that. And so let's go ahead and reboot into recovery mode. And as usual, all the files that I use in this video will be linked in the description below. So don't forget to check that out. So first thing you should and you have to do is back up the current ROM. So that if anything goes wrong, then you can restore this backup and come back to your stock ROM or whichever ROM you were using. And after backing up, simply go into wipe data and factory reset. Select yes, wipe all user data. This will wipe your complete data. And now go into select wipe cache partition, wipe cache. And now go into advanced, then go into wipe Dalvik cache and select yes, wipe Dalvik cache. After that's completed, simply go back select install zip now select choose zip from sd card 0 that's the internal storage and now select the cm12 zip this is the cm12 zip over here so simply hit power button for that select system 1 do not select system 2 because that might make the rom unstable so select system 1 and flash the rom select yes install and now this will flash the rom it will say that zip file is not signed simply select yes and proceed further it will ask you root access is possibly lost simply select no for this and once again select choose zip from sd card zero that's the internal storage and now select the gaps package and uh, these gaps package are specially for lollipop so flash these gaps package only and do not flash any other gaps package which are made for kitkat or other version of android so it will once again ask you that root access is possibly lost simply select no and now we are done so simply reboot system now now we will reboot into the Cyanogen Mod 12. So as you can see the Cyanogen Mod 12 logo is here. So guys as you can see over here we have successfully booted into the ROM and the ROM is running very smooth. I have been using this ROM for more than an hour now and uh, as you can see the multitasking is very smooth. There are no issues with that and the calculator animation is one of my favorite one. Just have a look at it and now if I hit the clear option then see the blue color moving over there and as you can see the new Cyanogen Mod apps are present over here such as this gallery application is the new one. It's it's implemented in the latest Sinogen Mod builds. So this means the sources of the Sinogen Mod 12 are uh, really recent ones. Music application is really nice as you can see. If I, the animations are really smooth. There are no issues with that. And let's go into settings and check the Android version. And as you can see, it's 5.0.2. And that's a very good thing. And uh, guys, before you hit me in the comments with the bugs, let me tell you that the team on the XDA has developed this ROM without having kernel sources. So don't forget to hit the thanks button on the XDA page. So they will come to know that we really appreciate their work. So let's go ahead and take a look how the into the ROM. Let's hit the camera and let's check the how camera performs. And let's click a photo. So the shutter speed was good. It was not bad. And the picture taken is also good. There are no issues with that. And for video recording, as I want lollipop ROM, you have to use a third party app and you can record videos. So that's a good thing and uh, the ROM is running smooth, there are no issues. And there are multiple Cyanogen Mod 12 features present over here. Like status bar, you can select the battery icon the way you want. Just let's stick to the circle. You can even select the percentage and there are tons of options to choose between CM12. So you may have look at it. And uh, if we go into developer options, there are tons of options over there too. If you go into multitasking tab, then you will be able to notice that you can swipe all the applications just by pressing this button. All the applications are gone now. So this is really good that developers developed the Sinogen Mod 12 ROM without having kernel sources. So a uh, big thanks to them. Few things are not working. I'll mention them in the description below. All the bug list will be in the description below. So don't forget to check the description. So this is it for this video guys, thank you for watching, don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. So thank you guys, thank you for watching.